Bob Dylan's spouse as a little kid and Big Daddy and later in the sweet life of Zack and Cody. Now he's grown up <laughs> in his new romantic comedy, Beautiful Wedding, where he might have a short honeymoon phase after getting hitched in Vegas. Take a look. Here's to us, happily ever after. I love you, Pigeon. I love you, too. So I, uh, I made this. I didn't know we were doing gifts. Yeah. It's just a little something I made on the flight while you were sleeping. Travis, I love you so much. I love you, too. What is it? It's a pro-con list to see if, if we should stay married or... Or... Or we get a quick annulment. Whoopsies. What happened? Why is it so decorated? <laughs> Please welcome Dylan Sprouse. It's so good to have you. Um, you've got your new rom-com coming out called Beautiful Wedding, a sequel to Beautiful Disaster, which was so much fun. Um, what can you tell us about it? What can I say? I'm going to pretend like I haven't done this before. Um, uh, so it takes place right after Beautiful Disaster, literally the night after. Um, we wake up after a splitting hangover in Vegas to find out that we are married and we're being chased by Vegas gangsters. Perfect. So we have to make a quick escape to Mexico and uh, we also decide to have a honeymoon there. And <laughs> trouble ensues. Amazing. <laughs> that is a great description of it because this movie is a blast. It's funny. Um, it's a little raunchy. It is. It's, it's sweet. There's even a, a, a Kyle um, Richards. Richards, Richards cameo from the Housewife franchise. Um, your character, Travis, is a fighter. So you had to apparently get in ridiculous shape for, not that you're not in great shape now. Um, <laughs> what were the best and worst wow. parts about oh, the about the sh getting into the shape part? Um, I actually really loved the routine of working out and training with mm -hmm. these like very talented trainers. Um, now I do love to eat, right? <laughs> that is something that I love to do. It's one of my fondest passions. <laughs> um, however, not like this because oh. what I was surprised about was the sheer amount of food yes. you have to eat to build that much muscle. Oh right. yeah, the yes. protein and no, it, it's crazy. I, I now I again I love to eat and I thought I was up for the challenge, but this was like four to five slabs of just steamed sea bass and a bowl of broccoli this big and a bowl of brown rice this big with no sauce, oh. no seasoning, yeah. nothing, barely salt and pepper, and I had to eat that for every meal, three meals a day. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, that felt like more of a workout to me. What I actually. say to my kids, Dylan, is if you're hungry enough. <laughs> well, you looked great, Good so it was about. worth it. Yeah. It was. I'm not eating like that now, though, so, and I feel better. <laughs> You also, you got married last summer. So congratulations, your beautiful wife, model Barbara Plavin. Now, she is from Hungary, so it's fitting that you tied the knot in Hungary. Is there any, are there any unique traditions or differences in how they do a wedding? Yeah, so um, it's were actually- Were you in Buda or Pest? Were you in Budapest? <sighs> we were in both Buda and Pest. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, we actually did it uh, at her family's Wedding venue, though, in Hungary, oh, which is very oh. convenient very nice. um, for me. Uh, but yeah, the traditions are completely different. Um, I would at lobby that they're more fun than American weddings in a lot of ways. And that's hard to do, because we have some good weddings. We do have some good weddings. Their weddings are based around like games and activities yeah. that you have to do during the wedding. Like a perfect example is that at some point, traditionally, the bride gets kidnapped by the groomsman. Okay. Um, and I have to win her back by completing a set of challenges. Oh, um, I like that. It sounds like a death match. Yeah, it's I, really I thought fun. you meant like Monopoly. You have to <laughs> earn your bride back. Yeah, I you, enjoy do. That. you have to earn her back. Uh, traditionally, as it goes, the groom is supposed to climb over a door that's taken out of its door frame yeah. in a full suit. Yeah. 
Um, I didn't actually do that one they, because they knew that I knew of that one and I was training for it. Um, <laughs> so, so the one that I had to do was uh, I sat down in a chair, like this chair, and behind me lined up were all of the uh, bridesmaids and my bride, who I couldn't see. And in front of me lined up were all of my groomsmen. Now, the bridesmaids and my bride behind me, which were in random order, would do a dance that my groomsmen in front of me had to replicate. <laughs> and I had to guess which one was my bride <laughs> from that. Wait, that's hard. Yeah. That's a tough one. They, should, they should try this on The Golden Bachelor. Right? <laughs> right? Okay. Oh, you'll know it's true. Yeah. I, I have to ask about The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, because I grew Wait. up on it. You started it with your twin brother, Cole. <laughs> um, and fans are diehards. Those of us who watched it, like, we still love it. And there's this kind of infamous scene where you guys go to get Same a haircut. table at, <laughs> right? You go to get a table at an Italian restaurant, and mm -hmm. they tell you you <laughs> cannot have it until November 16th, 2023, 15 <laughs> years later. So social media on November 16th, 2023, they were sending you notes. They were like, your table is ready. What was that like that 15 years later, fans are so dedicated? Um, it was, and I'm mad uh, I didn't catch it and write yeah. to <laughs> um, It was aging. I'll say yeah. that. I heard your guys' conversation out yeah. here before. Uh, you know, by the way, I was, my brother and I were also on Hollywood Squares with you at one point. We did not receive Louis Vuitton luggage. You did it? Which was a bit of a sore point. We'll Dude, pick. you might want to check. It might be on its way still. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. To get back to the question, I, uh, it's always lovely, actually, yeah. having kind of the viral sensation of that. I mean, I think it's nice to see that people are still attached to something mm. nostalgic to them so many years later. I didn't realize that we actually made that joke in the show. So <laughs> oh, when I that? saw it again, uh, that was certainly aging. Uh, uh, fans don't always remember that because they're dedicated, you're, you're doing three or four things at a time. Mm -hmm. So you have to be dedicated to everything in order to keep up on stuff. So people will come up and say lines to you, and you go, oh. <laughs> yeah. And they say, you don't remember you said that? Yeah. And you go, oh. <laughs> but of course. Yeah, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> you know, it's wonderful to see you. It's wonderful to, to see you as as a grown-up, it's know. kind of fabulous. I mean, you met me when I was seven years old. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. So it's been a while. Yeah. Oh. Listen, our thanks to Dylan Sprouse. Check out Beautiful Wedding. It's available on digital and on demand on February 13th. If you want to laugh in a good time, it's really worth your time. Please see it.